Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the Dubai Fafa. Me always on you in the Dubai Fafa. Come on, do do and me quill. Fafa, come on, green do and blow Fafa. I love the flavors that only love my bala. In the Dubai Fafa. gorgeous people thank you again for joining me for another experience with fafa and the shenanigans of 2020 is just incredible even if i say so now if you watched my previous video about the amazing indudu chili sauce yes it's a must try it's going to be the base for this recipe now I'd leave a link in the description box below so you can familiarize yourself with the flavors that happen in the pot. You know what I mean? Yes. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome and thank you very much for tuning in. I hope I do make your taste buds tingle after this and you rush to the kitchen to recreate this recipe as one should. As I always say, this is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa now sitting. And to my loyal subscribers, thank you guys. You're just incredible. Mm. Anyway, so I've got my chili sauce here. And now I'm going to move on to the next level. So I decided to go to my local supermarket and I went to Waitress. And you know, Waitress, they do really well. And I saw this monkfish. I mean, the guy dressed the monkfish for me. And look how he passed it like a chair. I brought my thing home, as one does. You know what I mean? I'm super super baby in the kitchen. Oh, my kitchen. I love my dad like, man, can you me? My wife will learn how to catch a woman. I come over to do for you. I'm going to put a Nakaino, ke ufu keche, nimba he ni ni oje me, munke nti shami ho ni ni, muma fe keche ko, no le one plus one is equal to two, alo mi male, that's all. Anyway, so I've got my monkfish. <laughs> Back to the recipe, you know one should actually concentrate and continue this journey of foodism. <laughs> anyway, so I have cut my monkfish into sizable chunks, as you can see here. And of course, I'm going to add a tablespoonful of my flavor packed, of course, in Dudu's chili sauce. Yes, a must try recipe. And I'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined because I just want the flavors to permeate through the fish. Now, in the absence of a monkfish, you can use any firm white fish you can get access to. Try cod, haddock, also hake. That's really good. Absolutely. So I'm just going to marinate this. Of course, I'm mixing it all together and I'm just going to leave it to marinate whilst I move on to my next step. <laughs> So at this point, I decided to roast my own peanuts as one does. Like, yeah, not really. But I prefer to buy my raw peanuts from the local Asian grocer that I do visit regularly because it's the one closer to me. And I do reserve this in an airtight container and use it. And it does usually last me for about three months. So I've preheated my oven to 160 degrees. And I've just added a little bit of my peanuts to my clay plate here. And I'm just going to roast this for 15 minutes at 160 degrees. Now, in the absence of this, you don't have to do this. But in the absence of this, you can use your peanut butter or granite paste. Just take about a table or two tablespoonful and that would work equally well so after 15 minutes it's roasted it's cooled down and i've divided the portion in two because i'm going to enjoy the other one on its own just like that as one does <laughs> and to the remaining half i've added my caraway infused in the chili sauce as I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can familiarize yourself with this flavor. So it's now time for me to sear my fish, which has been pre-marinating for a while. Mm -hmm. So to my clay pot, I've added about a tablespoon of my cold-pressed organic coconut oil, as one does. <laughs> 
And I'm just going to allow this to melt, but I need it to be hot. So I'm going to allow this to heat up as well for about three minutes. Once it's heated up, I'm adding my marinated monkfish. And I'm just going to toss and turn this as one does <laughs> for about four minutes. I don't want to overcook it because that's one thing about fish. Immediately you overcook it, it becomes all rubbery and yeah, no. You want it to be nice, moist, flaky, texture, just so. You know what I mean? This is not any other food. Though. This is in doo by Fafa. And I think at this point, this is almost done for me to now move on to my next level so what am i going to do i'm going to blend yes the peanuts with the skins intact yes and my chili sauce add a bit of water and blend that till it's nice and smooth now the reason why i've not bothered taking the skin off is i will be straining this into my clay pot and i'm just going to cook this till it reduces in quantity So now I'm going to allow this to simmer and reduce in quantity so it thickens up. And this should take you about 15 minutes to get to that consistency. As you can see here, you can see that it's thickening up just beautifully. So at this point, I can now add my monkfish to this bad girl. Yes, look at that flavor. Look at that juice that came out of that monkfish and it's all going back into this pot. The doo flavor packed pot. Now's the day. Mm -mm. Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? If you haven't done so, can you please do me that great service of doing so? And the notification button so that you do not miss a thing. And I do not want you to miss any of these recipes. They are the best. Mm -hmm. Tried and tested. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is almost coming to the end of me preparing, you know, my shenanigans here. Definitely. So next thing is I'm adding shiitake mushrooms. And I love shiitake mushrooms. Now, I omitted salt from this recipe. Reason being, the Ndudu chili sauce already had salt. But equally, you can add your salt to your own personal preference. So yeah. At this point, in... Me actually adding the monkfish, I knew that I had four minutes for me to add all my shenanigans and for this to cook perfectly and for the fish not to overcook. So I've added the okra. I've also added very mild green chili, which is just going to add that extra flavor to it. In the absence of that mild green chili, you can use your normal green peppers. That works perfectly well. And the okra also would act as a natural thickener for the sauce. And it's just incredible. You can just tell how it's absorbed all those flavors and look at that i'm just sprinkling it with a little bit of coriander as one does mm -hmm. and this is a dish that's just ready for you it's bulked up you've got the mung fish you've got the shiitake mushrooms you've got the okra you've got the green chilies what else do you want now it's just your preferred carbohydrate you can have your boiled yam your boiled plantain your steamed rice your kinky, your banku, your wakbla, your... I mean, then again, you can also add some potatoes or yam pieces to it. So that would mean that the yam or the potato would absorb this flavor as well. And that becomes a one-pot dish. Mm. Yeah, I should have thought about that, really. But anyway, yeah. Naturally, I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. Yes, definitely. And look at this. This is not any other food. This is in dudubaifafa. Abonuka. Mm-hmm.
Now you can tell that I'm painstakingly, strategically placing each and every ingredient in a specific way. So that when I do take a picture, I take it really well and it pops up perfectly. So you notice that I've just sliced that thin red chili and I'm just adding that and that just adds the warmth to it. So when I do take the picture, you go like, wow, you salivate. Because of course, the base of the sauce is that chili sauce as well. This is not any other food, oh. this is in Dudu by far, far. As I mentioned, I'll leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in Dudu by far.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in Dudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Narel, thank you very much for my theme song. I'm loving it. And the feedback is also very positive. Yes, thank you so much. And to my loyal kings and queens and beautiful souls, thank you for sharing this experience with me. And I hope I've given you that reason to click the subscribe button and to share the video as well with your family and friends because we need to push this channel to the next level as one does. We love you for you. Until my next experience, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, and be kind. Yes, that's important.